talk about looking intently at, I picture you studying photos of the people you play. Uh, that would seem to be like a, what am I trying to say, not an intellectual exercise so much as almost a kind of mystical one. Can you get something out of a picture that you don't even... Expression, I think, an expression. There, there are certain uh, people who have an expression that's either aggressive or quizzical or, uh -huh. or permanently flirtatious. Uh, there's a certain expression I think that you can copy, really. It's, it's copying. A lot, a, lo a, lot of, a lot of acting is mimicry. I'm sure people are now, you know, people are screaming at me, you know, method mm -hmm. actors are screaming at me for saying this. But it is, it's imitation, it's reflecting. It's holding the mirror up to nature, as Hamlet says, as you yeah. all know. Hamlet said that. Hold the mirror up to nature. Hamlet the Dane. Hamlet the Dane, yeah. <laughs> are people in... England, as entranced with America's mobsters, as uh, are they glamorous figures there, or do you very much the, so? Uh, they shouldn't very be glamorizing so. these folks. They're rotten trash. No, I I think they're fascinating. The mm -hmm. English are fascinated by by people. Uh, also, the yeah, English feeling. are convinced that other people are not very nice, and only the English are nice. So as long as it's foreign, as long as they're immigrant, uh, yeah. you know, Russian Jews or Italians or Greeks shooting each other, that's fine and it's fascinating, but the British don't do that. Of course they do. We have terrifying East End uh, gangsters in London. The craze would make your toes curl with the stuff they did. The um, craze. The craze spelled K-R-A-Y-S. Uh -huh. uh, film has just been made about them by Peter Medak. Uh, they are a terrifying lot. But what we don't have in England, we have the indigenous criminal here, what you have, as I said earlier, mm. was, the, was the murder incorporated that was founded by Jews who learned to survive in ghettos. You know, they really learned to survive in a very, very adverse conditions. You have um, the Irish come, um, coming over because of a potato famine. Sure. You have Italians coming over, because, uh, coming over because they were persecuted and therefore are tough. The toughness is bred into them. Mm -hmm. And there are various ethnic groups who co-op various kinds of criminal activity. You don't have this in England. It's all, you know, they're all English. They're, they're no, nobody comes in and, yeah. um, and you know, perpetuates a, a certain kind of crime in our country. Therefore, it's fascinating because we don't have it. We don't have it. Uh, and uh, do, you, do you have the really glamorous kind of gangster, the, the charm or like... Uh Bugsy Siegel has said to have been. Uh, that uh, association with show business uh -huh. is there in England, but it's not on anything like as big a scale. I would say that the, uh, I could get in serious trouble for this, but I would say that the crime world in London was more associated probably with the theatre, the West End theatre, uh, rather than... How do you mean? Rather, rather than you mean the, it was gangster dominated? The, the not gangster dominated, but a lot of... A lot of people in the theatre world, stagehands, electricians, oh, oh, oh. they are yeah. just on the edge of, of crime. And mm -hmm. I find them fascinating people. A friend of mine, in, when I was in the theatre as an actor, uh, had his car stolen. And the stagehand said to my friend, what kind of car was it? I said, it was a Ford Cortina. What, what, na what, what, na what number? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get it for you. I'll get it back for you. It was back within a day. Yeah, you stole my mate's car. Oh, sorry. You know, they knew, he, he knew where oh, to go. He knew all that okay. crime network of that area, and he got his car back within a day. I got a feeling he could have gotten him a car even if he hadn't lost one. I the got way, that feeling the way too. You play he, could him got, here. he could have got lots of things. Yeah. Is there anybody you can't play? Of course there is. <laughs> really? I mean, it, it seems to me probably your versatility is unlimited, and I wonder if you would ever say, I'm sorry. That's the one thing I can't do. I, Probably, yes. I can't play a saint. I can't play a Probably, genius. Yes. I can't play a... Um, those, I would think it would probably be a physical thing rather than a temperamental or mm. emotional thing. Um, and therefore, of course, that would be limited. I have, yeah. I have played Othello, but I played Othello as North African, as coming from closer to... Mor as coming from Moor, Morocco, coming from yeah. Morocco. And I based my Othello on the portrait of the uh, Moroccan envoy to the court of St. James. There was indeed a painting of this man. Mm -hmm. Astonishing study of arrogance and, and pride and, and sort of masculine uh, narcissism. And I based 
my physical appearance on, on, this, on this portrait. You used that portrait the way you were able to use photos of yes, people who... Yes, exactly. Who, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 I often wonder if English bigotry is any worse than ours. You know, we had a show called All in the Family, which was controversial at the time, and yet was said to be a very, very softened version we of its counterpart in England, in England which yes. was a little uglier. With Alf Garner, to that character Alf Garner. As you are part Indian, yeah. and as the expression "wagi" has come down to us, have yeah. you ever been called that or run into... Uh, at school, mm -hmm. um, I was, like most children who are different, Mm -hmm. Like the fat boy with red hair and freckles is singled out, or you know, uh, yeah. the girl with the slight squint, or that w there were all of us as children are singled out. I I found mine uh, particularly painful um, because I knew that aside from you know being sort of the normal childhood playground stuff, yeah. um, it was inexplicable and extremely uncomfortable. Um, a steady stream of petty petty, I mean petty r racial abuse mm -hmm. um, that used yeah. to deeply sadden me. I've blotted a lot of that out of my childhood and whole chunks of my childhood memory are missing. Is there anything what I good can come from it? Are you tough? I had great friends. Yeah. I had great friends at school, um, wonderful friendships at school in, in, in my adolescence. However, uh, I am aware that it is something to endure and survive in the British Isles. Mm -hmm. It is there. And I suppose, um, you know, my, my thanks, my gratitude to the child who, who cornered me and called me woggy and kicked me in the leg so hard that I couldn't walk for half a day. I would say, would you like to see my Oscar? But because it's because of behavior like yours mm -hmm. that I am a high achiever. So thank you very much. You know? It'd be a nice moment if you could. Yeah, meet. thanks to you. I mean, what do you expect if you bully somebody? You know, yeah. it, they eventually find a kind of equipment that transcends uh, that bullying. But I find racism astonishing. How do you mean that? There's vested yeah. interest behind racism. Oh. There's, there's some, somebody who will always say to their children, there's the enemy over there. And they say, but the, I'm sorry, but the, 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 we're separated by a field here. Yeah, but they're Croatian and we're Slavic, you see. So mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but that's the enemy. And incidentally, um, they killed your great-grandfather. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago, says the child, risking a thump around the face for being you know, impudent and answering back. Yeah. No, they killed your great-grandfather. Therefore, the, the hate mm -hmm. must be packaged and handed down. It's the vested interest in finding the enemy. People feel comfortable find, having found an enemy. It makes yeah. them feel good. Somebody out there has to be responsible deplorable. for our problems. Somebody different, it seems. I don't know. Yeah. It's an unusual subject. Ben Kingsley, it's a pleasure talking to you. I hope you know that and come back sometime. I'd love to. Thanks very okay. much indeed for inviting me. Thank you.